We head now to the Southlands of East Hampshire and one of the country's largest specialist veterinary practices dedicated entirely to the horse world. So Lipper Equine Hospital was established in the mid-1970s and it has blossomed into being one of the largest equine hospitals in Europe. We have an incredible team of specialists who are um, kind of recognised experts in their field of surgery and internal medicine and diagnostic imaging. And we have over 100 members of staff, um, specialists, other hospital vets, a wonderful ambulatory team supporting our clients out on the road and then a really big team of support staff too. We know that sick horses and um, urgent care cases need support and teams around them 24-7. We're lucky that we have the facilities here to be able to offer that emergency service. So we also have a wide range of facilities that help us diagnose all kinds of equine health problems such as MRI and CT and um, x-ray facilities and an incredible range of ultrasounds machines too that enable us to really get to the bottom of all kinds of health problems that we're presented with. So the morning rounds that happen at half past eight in the morning are where we gather together as all the different sorts of um, roles within the hospital, so our nurses in the different teams, our house vets and other hospital vets and specialists all gather together to walk around every single inpatient in the hospital and at each stable we talk through any specific needs for that horse that day. It's a really important po point in that 24 hours where we all get together also kind of intellectually to talk about what's happening with that case and offer our opinions and our support to the vet that's in charge of looking after that patient making those decisions. There's always a lot going on. It's a bit like a duck, it all looks calm on the surface but there's a lot of paddling under the water. Um, but it's a, a well-oiled team. I'm one of the equine surgeons here at the Lipok Equine Hospital. Uh, what we do is, or what I do basically, is based in surgery, lameness and specialised imaging. Horses don't read the textbook, they never, they never are the same. No two lamenesses are, are ever the same and certainly it's a, a vocation which is very humbling in many ways. Horses need to be fairly functional almost straight after surgery, so it has its own unique set of challenges. But the, the classic surgeon role involves a, a, a multifaceted approach. We kind of need to be specialists in all sorts of things. Through it when he canters and he does yeah, make some space and he kind of chucks his head out. As a specialised hospital, we essentially offer the full range of, of what's available from internal medicine, surgery and diagnostic imaging. Diagnostic imaging is one of our essentially really important specialities as is surgery, as is internal medicine. We tend to evaluate them on the trot up here. That's good Caitlin, let's change the rein and go the other way please. So as part of our assessment for lameness we see horses on multiple surfaces. That includes a hard surface, a soft surface and we see them doing what they do under saddle. We've seen him short on the right front, so we're going to assess him a little bit more in depth including some palpation and then after that he'll go into some diagnostic tests. That's good, Caitlin. Let's go halfway and back again, please. I think he's got a little bit of heat in his foot. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get him off to Rosie and X-ray, um, and we can get some X-rays done of that, and then decide what we want to do after that. Uh, we have a great bunch of nurses and some RVNs who are specialised nurses who take our X-rays. There's different nursing roles in the hospital. Everything from admitting a patient to mucking out, preparing them for surgery, lameness workups, ridden assessments, all aspects of ICU care. These are all lead lines to protect us from radiation penetration. But our team mainly is mainly responsible for theatre, x-ray and di other diagnostic imaging, including bone scan and endoscopes. Generally, we'll know who the surgeon, what the surgeon requires from us. So we'll get the horse in, sedate them if it's appropriate, take the x-ray, and if we're happy with the quality, then we'll ask the surgeon to come and check that they're also happy with the quality. Obviously the first concern is the welfare of the horse, um, and that's paramount in everything that we do, and we try to get them as sound as possible as quickly as possible. Uh, there's nothing too much untoward in his foot, which is good news for Sean. Um, so he may just have to undergo some remedial farriery. We fortunately have some very good in-house farriers, and we try to work quite closely with the horse's own farrier at the same time. So 
we'll assess those um, and come up with a plan for young Sean. But I think Caitlin can take Sean back to bed now. From a surgical perspective, we essentially again offer the, the full suite of services from standing surgery to GA surgery. We can do keyhole surgery specifically, which we do quite a lot of, so arthroscopy. Uh, we offer soft tissue surgery with the full range from lump removal, sarcoid removal with specialised equipment like diode lasers, the whole way through to full colic surgeries, full abdominal explorations. And obviously the welfare of the horse is always paramount. We use very specifically padded rooms, so we have a, both a knockdown room and a recovery room. This, as you can see, has a padded floor as well as padded doors. All of the points are covered and secured so that when a horse is in here there's no possibility of them damaging themselves or hurting themselves. It's always a big team whether it's a standing surgery or a, a general anaesthesia and involves up to 10 to 15 people to get to get the horse on the table and off the table safely um, and without any concerns and we do take specific care and we take specific pride in that um, in looking after the horse's welfare as it goes through all of these procedures. There is a lot of specialisation out there um, and I think certainly veterinary is becoming very much like the, the human field where people are becoming more and more specialised in what they do and better for it, which is better for the animals. It takes a lot of people, support staff, nurses and vets to be able to uh, provide the excellent care that we do at the hospital here. The most satisfying thing is when a really poorly horse comes in and the whole team with all the different disciplines and types of vets and nurses and support team get together to really work hard for that patient and um, to see them walk home back to their owners um, into their care at the end of their stay at the hospital is just the most incredible feeling and really is what makes it so satisfying for the team.